Hi Jamie, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club, just to recap on our lesson the other day. So first thing, as we see your swing here, as you take it away, we can see here the club goes slightly inside uh, the target line. We can see this frame here, the club face is slightly open. If we look here at Alex Noren as he pushes the club away, we can see here his club head stays a little bit more outside of his hands. And at the same stage as you, we can see that also the club face is... Uh, is in a very different angle so it's pointing slightly to the ground where you can see yours is pointing above the ground so he's in a much squarer position which looks slightly closed which means he's going to hit the ball further as he gets to the top of the swing Alex is pretty good and when he comes down let's have a look at yours when we get to the top of your swing there Jamie very good nice and short compact but pretty solid as you start down the lines are terrific you can see the shafts cutting back through that forearm we can see the same here with Alex on the right through that forearm but the, the big difference is look at Alex's right foot we can see he's really pushing off that right foot to get his weight into his left side and also if we drive a little bit further of his swing we can see he's got a lot of clearance so when he comes into impact there his right foot is literally his toe is on the ground just keeping balance but everything all the pressure is into that left side where if we look at yours Jamie coming in we can see you're still very flat footed and we look like you're trying to sort of lift the ball up in the air where Alex looks like he's trying to hit it down into the ground and we can see that evidently with Alex's swing down here that he's got a big divot coming out of the ground now where he's trying to sort of crunch down on the ball he understands that if he hits down on the ball that will pop it up uh, with the best shape of shot so we had to work on them two moves the first thing was easy we just got you feeling that you didn't roll the hands you pushed the club away of your shoulders hands stayed passive and that kept the club in front and the second one, we did a little drill where you swung it literally as you got to waist height, your left foot would come and kiss your right foot and then you'd plant it back where it originally started. So a little step drill. That's a very good way of getting the legs to separate on the downswing and feel the weight going into the uh, the left foot and left heel. Okay. The other way we did it with the driver as well, we put you on a down slope on the range uh, and got you feeling like you fall down the slope again it your driver flight was sort of up here and then after the uh, the downslope it dropped about a third so you can see it coming out of a lot more heat and a lot more run so they're the two things you need to work on for me you can really see that here can't we look how, how scoopy where your club head is I mean look how much weight is on that right side again we'll look at Alex at that same position I mean all of his weight is on his left side we can see that down there so them two things work on that for me and you'll get some fantastic results thanks Jamie